Well, it's evening time, and if you listen quietly, you can hear the owls. Well, you probably can hear the car go by first. I've been working. I'll just walk you over here. <laughs> Everybody wants to drive when I'm recording, right? I've been working and like setting up some decorations over here in the orchard. There's a chair there. I'm gonna get my camera out and do a full orchard tour, but you can kind of see what I've been working on. There's the owl. My daughter and I named it the Christie Owl because we used to watch the movie Christie in the beginning of the show. It would have an owl. I believe they're great horned owls. We have three of them. You can faintly hear it. But what I wanted to show you was something I'm working on in the front of my house. I'm not going to turn my camera around because this lady is hot and sweaty and <laughs> I probably don't look <laughs> that good. <laughs> so I am going to show you this. So this has been like, you know the story in the Bible where there's a thorn in the side? And this has been my thorn in my side for the last few years. I actually saw on Facebook four years ago, I redid it, and it looked really nice. But we weren't really keeping up with the mowing and the trimming, and our pipe busted inside the house, and so we had to run a dry, not a dry line, but a line for gray water just for our kitchen sink. It's all it is. But we just fixed it. You hear the owls? Um, we just fixed it. So for the last few years, my gray water has been dumped in my flower bed right here. So now that it's kind of getting drier, I'm starting to plant some things that I really, I guess, care a lot about. I was just filling this in with stuff. Um, was it, you know, just transplanting things in my yard? But the bindweed has taken over, and the lemon balm, like this is all lemon balm, and it really is annoying. <laughs> I have it, I have it all over in my yard. I have it in, you know, strategic spots, and they become bushes very quickly. But what I've noticed is the bindweed is just a very hard to take care of. It is that thorn in my side that the Lord probably has put in my life for good, and I have to figure out how to deal with it. And so, um, I've I've contemplated using chemicals to kill it around the front of the house um, this is a cherry almond bush and it's gotten like doubled in size this year and it's got big pink flowers on it in the springtime I think I probably had that on video before and then I'm so sorry it's so loud and then you can see like these are three four no there's five lemon balm bushes and I may dig a couple of these up and plant plant them somewhere else in the yard um, one of the things with living in an old farmhouse, this used to be a Quaker farmhouse, it was built in 1940s, is their septic is always, it seems to be, from what I've heard, close to the house. So like my clean out is right here, y'all. I'm just being real. Here you go, here's my septic tank. <laughs> um, and then there's my bathroom and there's the clean out, it's right there. Not that hose, but the one over there. So we gotta have to like keep this accessible if we need it, but we can plant stuff. We just can't like plant a tree and so um, anyway I have determined to make this look nicer and if I have to resort to chemicals to kill all the bindweed um, which I'm trying one more organic spray then I want to plant stuff up here that I'm not going to be harvesting from it's not going to be used for any you know consumption of anything but that I can easily maintain it so I lay plastic down and the one thing I did realize is like almost a foot and a half from the house, it's concrete. <laughs> so the slab of the house is basically right there. I can't put anything in the ground, so I'm kind of using bricks to kind of lay there just to kill the weeds, hopefully. Um, the, my son got me that butterfly bush last year for Mother's Day. And this year for Mother's Day, he got me a Rose of Sharon that I actually dug up and transplanted somewhere else because I felt like it was dying over here. And then I have a peonies here that is really struggling. And I have a peonies here that is really struggling. So I'm going to see if I can get them alive and kind of maybe just 
you know, maintain this better. But I had scored these plants at our local farm store. Um, they were 75% off, already marked down on clearance prices. So I got these hostas for $1.25. I got the boxwood, which I've always wanted a boxwood, for a couple bucks. And then I think the wine rose bush was 3 or $4, and I got two of them. So I've kind of laid them out, a bush there and a hosta and a boxwood, and kind of done this little pattern. I have one big hosta that I'm digging up that's in front of one of my chicken coops that's going to go right here in the corner. And then I would love to have like, I don't know, a huge lilac bush or something here. And then don't even, just, just pay, don't pay attention to the, you know, flowers behind the curtain. I mean, like on the front of the house over here. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be next year's project. I feel like every three or four years I have to start over because the bindweed just gets so bad. But I kind of have a system. There's a lot of bee balm and echinacea and Queen Anne's lace in here, and I just try and go through and take the big weeds out, but it's really wild. So, yeah, just don't mind that. Um, but anyway, this is going to be what I'm going to try and finish up tomorrow, is dig these plants down. And then I have five bags of mulch, and I'm going to lay mulch on top of this plastic in hopes that it'll kind of keep the plastic down and kill some of the weeds below and even if I dig a hole to plant these I'm going to try and be very careful with pins and kind of close it in. Um, it's just one of those things you know I feel like try to be a good steward and everything right <laughs> and then you just want to look up to the heavens and say Lord why did you create bindweed? <laughs> why did you create all these things? I also had found a big patch of poison sumac right there and poison ivy along the house so like obviously that has got to go. So anyway, um, my hope is to just simplify things this year, be more intentional with my time, but also simplify things because I need things to be low maintenance. I have a lot of things that I manage. And if I could have some of these areas with just bushes and hydrangea or in peonies and um, hostas and nothing else and just mulch and try and keep the weeds down. This is my big first bush that I ever bought in front of the house and it's doing amazing um and i probably will leave some of the mom you know just to hide the like great big um mint green septic take <laughs> so anyway i just kind of wanted to show you this and i'll bring you back and show you how, how it looks finished um i am going to upload my next video is hopefully going to be the winners of the giveaway so if you haven't commented on any of my videos comment for every comment that you've commented, your name's going to be in the drawing. So if you've commented on five videos, you get five entries. Um, this is U.S. only. And so I will um, do a drawing, hopefully tomorrow, and get a video up of the winners of our Homestead Blessing Boxes. We are going to give away two Blessing Boxes from our home to yours as a thank you for supporting our channel and encouraging us to just do what we can to bless and encourage others through our content. So... I am going to go in and have some sugar cookies that I made earlier and some tea. Um, so till next time, friends, I hope that you have a wonderful week and I will talk to you later.